Welcome to Click and Print. This demo will show you how to print and design a trifold project board project. Begin by clicking on Project Board under Backgrounds. Here, you will not find Project Board itself, but varying sizes of paper. Once you select a paper size, you can design a series of sheets which will make up the contents of your project. For Trifold Project Board, we recommend using standard 8.5 by 11 paper. 8.5 by 11 paper will work best on Trifold Project Board if you use the landscape orientation. To do this, click the horizontal button at the top of the screen. At any time, use the zoom in and zoom out buttons at the top of the screen to get a better view of your page. Next, click on the Templates and Layouts category to find a trifold project board template. We've provided you with a starting template that will serve as a plan for your project board. The template represents the project board folded open. The center section of your board is a great place to put the main content of your project, like photos, illustrations, or graphs. The outside flaps are best for supporting content. In this case, we're going to design a science project. You can use this initial template to make an overall visual plan for your project. When sketching out the plan for your board, consider that the main center section of your board can fit two 8.5 by 11 sheets horizontally. Each outer flap can fit one 8.5 by 11 sheet horizontally. Use the template to plan out how many sheets you need for your project and what you want to say on them. Using your plan, you can create all of the individual sheets you need for your project. We will demonstrate this process by first making a sheet with our title on it. To do this, we will start by clicking Add New Page at the bottom of the screen. You will be prompted to save your template, but you can save your template at any time by using the Save icon in the top navigation bar. Your second page will start out identical to your first one. To start making your title, simply delete any text boxes that you don't need using the Delete key on your keyboard. You can move or resize any text box you have on your sheet by simply dragging and dropping it. We recommend that you stretch your text box to fit your page. You can design your title to print out on one complete page, or you can put each word on a separate line and then create cutouts which you can paste to your board later on. To edit your text, highlight it first, and then use the features on the right-hand menu to adjust the alignment, size, font, color, and other features. Use the Click to Hover Over Font box to mouse over different fonts and see which one works best for your title. Use the color menu to try out different text colors.
When you are satisfied with your title, return to your original plan by clicking on it at the bottom of your screen. From here, you can decide which page you'd like to work on next. In this example, we're going to work on our hypothesis page. Be sure to be on your plan page, and then click Add New Page again at the bottom of the screen. Once again, you'll have a copy of your plan page. Simply remove any text boxes that you don't need. Resize your text box accordingly. In the clip art category, you can find a variety of clip art to use with your project. You can move and resize any clip art like you would a text box. Write the content for your page and make any style changes you want. Be sure to make your text big enough so it will be visible from a distance. Adding some decorations to your project will help to make it eye-catching. Use the copy and paste icons at the top of the screen to copy and paste the clip art. To continue making new pages, simply return to your original plan, add a new page, and then customize it. When you print, be sure to delete your plan page, unless you want to keep it for reference. All of the pages you have queued up at the bottom of your screen will print out sequentially, one after the other. When you're ready to print, click on the print icon in the top right corner of the screen. Click on Printer Preferences. Make sure that your paper size is a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet, or whichever paper size you chose in the beginning, and make sure that your orientation is landscape. In your printer list, make sure that you have the correct printer selected. Thanks for using Click and Print. We hope you enjoy using the program. Please contact our customer service team if there's anything you need assistance with.